Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to the Vinci Code. Let's continue where we last left off, shall we? We are in the St. Sulpice Church, which, unfortunately, St. Soldrine is dead. She just got murdered. Why when Robert just got there? So now we have to figure out what's going on here. It's the monk I knocked unconscious. He's wearing some sort of outfit but all the cloth is tightly bound. That might be to stop the cloth from rustling when he's moving. Huh. This should come in useful. Yes, it should be useful. monks. I think they're looking for something. I just hope it's not me and Sister Marguerite. Oh boy. The armoire. There's a priory symbol on this armoire, but it's locked. I need to open it. There may be some clues to Sister Sandrine's involvement with Sonier in the priory. Probably. There's a priory symbol on this armoire, but it's locked. I need to open it. Oh. There may be. Here you said this. Note. Matthew 7.14. It's obviously a passage from the Bible, but the numbers are bold. Maybe they have a double meaning. 7.14. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. You know what? Let me write it. Luckily, I have my manual for the Da Vinci Code for the P the CD version for the PC, and I have a notes section where I can write notes. Sweet. All right. Seven fourteen. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, anything else to examine? Empty drawer, empty drawer. Empty, empty. The mouse scrolling on here is a little weird. Or slow. I. Why do I feel like there's something else on here? But I think that's it. No, I think that's it. Sister Sundry's body. There's a note in her hand. Four phone numbers. And there's a fleur de lis symbol on it. Sister Sandrine must have been calling members of the Priory of Sion when she was attacked. Ah, I thought so. That Jacques Sonnier's number at the Louvre. More proof that Sonnier was a member of the Priory. Ah. Body. Poor Sister Sandrine. It looks like someone hit her with a heavy object. What kind of monster would do this? And why? Right hand. She seems to be reaching out towards something. Something under her bed? Maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. to move the tiles to form a word. And there's no hint. Okay. Wait. Spot. Seer. The... What if this is Scion? For a priory of Scion. Yep. That was easy. What's in the hole? Bronze slide. <laughs> What's in the hole? That's what she said. Bronze slide J R U. Huh. Checkpoint reached. Alright, cool. 
Solved a puzzle. Well, that was that was actually easy, honestly. All right, let's go to knock on Sister Son si not Sandrine's. I mean, Sister Marguerite's room. It's Robert. Oh, good. I, I just remember that Sister Sandrine was carrying around two statues. They might be related to what she was doing tonight. I'll see if I can figure it out. Thank you. Two statues. Okay. Audio a esteletus, quod hombre fraudulentus. I know he said audio, but I do not understand Latin. Damn it! So much for the wall ambush. Dominus Bobisco. <laughs> what? I did that correctly, damn it! Fuck you. Go hide in your own shadow. Yeah. Oh, I did that correctly. Yeah, that was nothing. Palma existo utabas. He's out cold. Better move him out of sight. Body disappeared. What the flip? He was just behind me and now he's gone. Okay, sure. This door leads to nothing after all these years. Wait, what? What's this? The CHAP symbol system. The French used this in the late 18th century to telegraph messages from one town to the next. Ah, oh, that's smart. Wait a minute. No. What's my... Oh crap, I forgot my, um... I, f I forgot what my inventory button was. Hold on. Oh, it's Q. Dang it. There you go. Uh... J R U. Yeah, let's write that in the notes. All right, so we got seven fourteen and J R U. Okay. And we got this whole chap system right here. How am I supposed to get the whole chap system without writing this whole thing down? Because I don't feel like writing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my phone and take a picture of each of this. Hold on. Give me one moment. Picture. All right, let's move over over here. Okay. Snap. All right. Okay, and one more picture. And one more picture should be good. Okay, perfect. All right. Robert can't run? I thought... 
Oh, it's space to sprint. I'm stupid. There we go. Okay. Sister Marguerite, are you all right? Yes. I think I am all right now. If you have any questions, I can try to answer them. Nothing at the moment. Okay. So, the only clues we have is two statues. All right. Balcony. It overlooks the church. Interesting. There's that hole over there. Yeah, you rat. Oh, there's rats. Supply shelf. Oil can. Sister Marguerite mentioned that Sister Sandrine was carrying lamp oil with her before she died. This could be important. Really? She said that? I don't remember her saying that in the last episode. Maybe she did it, but it was very subtle. How could these not be useful? Oh, bolt cutters are the best. You can never go wrong with those. High importance yet. All right, let's just go down, I guess. Ground floor. Those creepy monks are everywhere. I need to be careful. Esteletus, what hombre fraudulentus. This looks useful. I have an idea where it goes to. But before we go back upstairs, let's take a look around. There's a lot of things here. Maybe too much. Confession booth. A 
knockout weapon. This must go down into the crypt below Saints Old Peace. Ah, open the hatch. All right. Someone smashed through the floor here and probably found this stone. This could be handy. Oh, it's a can. Jesus condemned to die. This station represents when Jesus was condemned to die by Pilate. Pilate called out, behold your king. It still amazes me that people don't know that Jesus was condemned to die because he threatened the power of the Caesar. He was a descendant of Solomon which meant that he rightfully could have claimed power as king of the Jews. That certainly stirred up the Romans. Ah. This depicts Jesus carrying the cross he was to be crucified on. It's made of a sturdy and most likely heavy wood in the shape of a T. This was known as the Tau Cross, and much later, St. Anthony's Cross. The traditional Latin cross that most pictures depict Christ carrying didn't become prevalent until the third century. Interesting. You can learn some things about this. All right, this is number three. Jesus falls the first time. This station shows when Jesus first fell while being forced to carry the crucifixion cross to Golgotha. Some people don't know that Jesus was actually tortured before his crucifixion as well. They whipped him within an inch of his life using a scourge or lead-weighted whip. I doubt anyone could stand after that kind of abuse. Yeah, that that was also on this uh, movie pa Passion for the Christ, which that that torture scene was just effed up. Jesus meets his mother. This station depicts Jesus meeting his mother, Mary, or the Virgin Mary as she is better known, on his way to Golgotha. Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. Oh yeah, that's like one guy. With the cross being too heavy for Jesus to continue, the Roman centurions pick Simon of Cyrene from the crowd to carry it. He's named in several of the Gospels, so it seems likely to be true. Though there's no background history for Simon before or after the events of the crucifixion, other than that he had two sons, Alexander and Rufus. Interesting. So there's not a lot of history about Simon, huh? Veronica wipes Jesus' face. This isn't mentioned in the Gospels, but it's from the apocryphal writings. Veronica was someone who said Jesus cured her blood disorder. She came to his trial to claim Jesus was innocent. When Jesus walks by her, she wipes some of the spit and blood from his face, and it said his image was left on the cloth she used. One of the very few acts of kindness he experienced during his crucifixion. Oh, well that was nice of you, Veronica. falls a second time. Here, Jesus falls again. At this point, he was not carrying the cross anymore as the Roman centurions had given it to Simon of Cyrene, but he had been whipped nearly to death. That's messed up. That's, so that was B-I-I. -I. Now we need to look for B-I-I-I, -I -I, which is over here. Jesus meets woman of Jerusalem. Here, the women of Jerusalem lament for Jesus. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus makes an odd prophecy where he tells the women not to weep for him, but for themselves and their children. For the days are coming when those who never had kids will think they are blessed. Many tried to attribute this to later plagues, but it seems more likely to me that if I were about to die, my outlook on life would also be pretty bleak. Oh, because I don't have no kids. Interesting. That's what I thought of. 
I don't know if that was the correct translation. Jesus falls for the third time. Jesus falls for the third time in this depiction. Oh, no other information? Okay. All right, 10. Jesus is stripped. Yeah, he, was, he was stripped naked, wasn't he? Once they got to the place of the skull, Golgotha, they stripped Jesus naked, the final humiliation. They even gambled on who would get his undergarment. That's gross. Eleven. XI. Wait, what was it? Jesus is nails to the cross. Ah, uh, yeah. This part was really brutal in the movie, too. The actual nailing to the cross takes place at the eleventh station. I often wonder when I hear cases of stigmata, why people bleed through their hands. It was scientifically proven that in order to be able to hang from the cross, the nails are put through the wrists between the bones of your forearm. Nails through the hands simply wouldn't hold. Huh. Jesus dies on the cross. The Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all tell of Jesus' death on the cross. They also agree that Jesus called out, God, God, why have you forsaken me? It's obvious to me that someone calling this out is not a God, but it's also irrelevant. Jesus was a good man and he died because of politics, not because he did anyone harm. Yeah, he was an innocent man, he did nothing wrong. They took Jesus' dead body down from the Tau cross and presented it to Mary. Both the Virgin Mary and Mary Magdalene were present there, and that's all that we can really know. Scholars to this day still debate who the body was given to. Uh, Jesus laid in the tomb. The burial of Jesus is covered in the Gospels, but only Mark and Matthew mention that both Mary his mother and Mary Magdalene were there. It's funny how the Bible is written from so many contradicting points of view, yet people still believe it to be true, word for word. Oh, so Robert, you're a skeptic, huh? Is that it? That's the end of the story? He got laid to rest? Well, that is true, he did get laid, but I guess they didn't say, um... About, uh... How he rose from the dead and stuff. There's a notch on this shelf. Yep, it's for us. Probably for the statue. So from all things we got, we got uh, most important probably that key is the most important. Priory symbol on this armoire, but it's locked. Save the key. Wait, I need to examine this key. An ornate key retrieved from one of the holy waterfront fonts. Let's see if there are any clues in here. Let's see. S Station of the Cross Statue. That looks very important. Statue of Jesus lying down. There are also some prongs at the bottom of the statue. So this is him when he was entombed. Okay, so this this will probably go on the last one. So she said two statues, huh? Who's there? It's just me again. Have you thought of anything else? 
Yes, the statues I mentioned earlier. I think they were used in a sermon for the Stations of the Cross. Ah, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay. Um... My question is, how do I get to... Um... Okay, never mind. I'll figure it out along the way, I guess. If I want to get through, I'll need something to cut the chain. Ah. This will do. Of course. I'm saving all my mech kits because I have only got hidden points. Oregon clock controls. Wait, there's something. There's a little seal on the floor. Okay, Oregon clock controls. It's set to 12 o'clock and doesn't seem to be moving forward. I wonder if it was broken recently or just never worked. Or maybe it isn't used for telling time at all. You know what? That second one is probably it. It's not used for time. Let's get some hints. I think this clock may be some sort of secret lock. Yes, it is. I think I need to rotate the hands of the clock to a specific number or time. Correct. I know it's not 12 since that's where it started. Yep, that, we can cancel that out. The only number I've seen that would work with this clock was on the flagstone. I thought it was a Bible passage, but I guess I was wrong. Wait a minute. Let me look at my notes. 714. Yep. This was too well hidden to not be important. Yes. Sam in the hole. Copper slide. Take it. Alright, the next letters are... A E M. I saw that before it went away. It sounded like something else was activated. That was weird. J R U A E M. Yep. Okay. Let me save my game. Cause I feel like something's gonna happen. Save successfully, good. Oh, jeez. More monks. I don't under I don't understand Latin. Oh boy, this is not good. 
Ego mos peto hara dei. Not good. I'll fight if I have to. Damn it. <sighs> Not good. Dominus Bobisco. A palma existo utabas. This isn't necessary. Damn it! Oh, I messed up. I think that's an ooh. Damn it. This one is the one of him laying down. That's definitely what he was injured. So that definitely goes over here for sure. In my opinion. There. That can stay there. Out of breath, 
my dude. <sighs> Um... Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a can. I don't need, I don't need a can. Oh! Rose line placard. Placard. This looks like a modified form of Latin. Kind of like Old English. It mentions a summer eclipse in the year 1745. Ah. Uh. Book of eclipses. There's a chapter marked here. There were two eclipses in 1745. One was on October 4th, and the other on April 11th. According to this book, the 11th of April would also have been the night of a full moon which was said to be when Jesus was resurrected. That's why Easter is celebrated the Sunday closest to the night of a full moon. Ah, okay, so April 11th. I need to put a date in here. Probably a date that coincides with an eclipse if I'm translating the placard correctly. The book mentioned two dates for an eclipse. I should look that up again. Given that this is a church, the eclipse closer to Easter would probably be the correct one. Oh, no. April is... Yep, April's is... Whoa. Station of the Cross. I think it's a statue of Jesus carrying the cross. Oh boy, this is where the problem comes in. There are literally like, I believe three or four stations that literally said he was carrying the cross. So let's try day one of that one. No, it's not balls, it's him carrying the cross, right? Yeah. Gotta be one of those, one of these though. I know that the tomb, the late, the him, Jesus being laid down is definitely the last station for him being entombed. For sure. No? Weird. Simon helps carry the. No. That was it! It's when he fell for the second time. That's it. So that's where Sister Sandrine went in secret tonight. Now I just need to find out why. Perfect. here is actually the original church of saint Sulpice. When it fell into disuse, it ended up under layers of dirt. They built the new church on top of it. Figure out what is hidden inside the crypt. Wow. This is beautiful. I know some of y'all like, really, this is a crypt, but to me it's like, wow. need this later. Yep. Oh man, that's a dead guy here. Or dead woman. There's something on the floor here. Ah, there's some stuff right there. Three 
lanterns examined. Ah, these oil lamps were used to tell stories centuries ago. You could insert different panels into them to project an image on the wall. Ah. <sighs> Copper lantern. Drywick. <sighs> Drywick. Okay, so ESL. Alright, so that's fine. And this one's bronze. So let's put the bronze one on this one. It worked. Now for the next part. Copper. Finally. Yep. Dry wick. No. I don't think that's usable here. Oil valve. Oil can. Now I can light this one. Done. Yeah. It looks like the beginning of a message. If I light all the lamps, maybe I can decipher it. Yep. Knew it would work. Ah, I'm on the right track. Jerusalem. I wonder what this is for. Write that word. Yeah, Jerusalem. Okay. All right. And this we can interact with. That sucker looks heavy. These buttons on the wall have familiar symbols on them. I wonder if there's a pattern. Okay. I literally just took a pic. Thank goodness I took a picture of the um, system here. Okay, I'm gonna look at my phone for this. Give me a moment. Okay, so that doesn't have the terminal. Okay, so this one is the letter S. I'm gonna write that in my notes. S. And this one is an E. Okay, and this one is a... Uh, like a R. Yeah. And then this one is... This one is either I or J. This one was a special one. This one is... Well, it's definitely not P because it's the opposite. And it would be the other way. Okay, so this would be, um, definitely not G. Huh. Oh, it's an L. Okay, and this one is, um, it looks like an A. This one is um a M. And 
And this one looks like... Another, um... Another E. And then this one is, um... A U. Wait, so that spells Jerusalem. Okay, so it's... Hold up. So it's... This one... And then... That one... this down as I'm going, so sorry. And then an L. And then we need another E, which will be this. And then last but not least, the letter M. Which would be this, hopefully. And then after we click this, we should solve the puzzle, if I'm correct. Yep. Amazing. The entire list of Priory Grand Masters up to this very year. Here's Jacques Sonnier. It, it all makes sense now. He wasn't just a member of the Priory of Sion. He was the Grand Master, and in his dying moments he had to pass on the secrets of the Priory or lose them forever. Whoever killed Sonier wanted to know those secrets, and Sonier sent them here to throw them off. The clues that Sophie are following are taking her right into harm's way. The kind of ingenious zealot that could find and kill the Priory elite will certainly be able to find her as well. The monks must have followed me in here. I should stay out of sight. Good. What are they doing? Those 
those monks are everywhere now. I don't think I can get out the front door anymore. Sister Marguerite probably isn't safe either. I should go and check on her. Wow, they are everywhere. What? I click both the mouth and the location, whatever. Oh. Why don't we just call it even? I click Bobby School. I click both mouth buttons, damn it. All you can avoid if you just let me go. I know, right? I click both, damn it! It's me again. It's Robert. Oh, thank goodness, I was so worried. I found out what Sister Sandrine was doing, but it's too dangerous for us to stay here now. Maybe, maybe I should call the police. You didn't call the police yet? I guess that's good for me. I was in such a panic, I didn't know what to do. It's all right. With everything that's happened tonight, I can understand. I need to call my friend first, but then you should call the police. I'll wait with you until they arrive, but then I need to go. What I've discovered here, well, 
it will mean a lot to her. Oh, I missed one secret. It's okay. New puzzle unlocked. New concept art unlocked. Save my game. The Chateau. Grandpère wanted me to find something very important here. But he also wanted to keep it secret from everyone but me and Robert. I remember an underground grotto hidden in a garden maze from when I was very young. I can only imagine that his secrets would be best guarded down there. Find a way into the mansion. Oh, now we play a Sophie, huh? Alright, let me save my game. Alright guys, that's the end of my video here. If you like this video, please give this video a like, comment on this video on how you like games more, scratch out and see if we can lose the keys. Alright, this is the game for peace out. I'll definitely see you on the next episode of Da Vinci Code, which we'll play as Sophie now in the Normandy mansion. Alright, bye everyone.